Well, I hate to cut anybody out, but it will be recorded. So we're going to go ahead and start because it is 7 o'clock, and I don't want to hold everybody up. I'm sure you guys have other things to do as well. We're going to start with some basics today, and we're going to start with anatomy. So today we're going to play with anatomy, and we're going to just base it on real-life type anatomy so that you guys can get a feel for dimensions and proportions and figure out how to make people look more realistic, give them proportionate hands or at least hands with all their phalanges, <laughs> and uh, we'll try to go through some basics. So I'm actually going to start with hands because that's what's on our banner, so we'll start with something fun, and we'll make it simple. So I'm just going to show you some basic ways to start out with hands, and they aren't going to be really complicated. We're going to go for very, very simple, and then we're going to go ahead and start doing more complicated things after that. But I'm going to do the basic outlines and play with the hands first. You want to look at your own hand while I'm playing around with y'all, because hands are very simple. So anyways, hands are very simple, but... They're actually very complicated to some people because I think they get so focused on the character that they're drawing that they forget what they're doing with the hands, the feet, the proportions of arms, legs, the head. All those types of things are easy to pro make proportionate if you pay attention to the way your body works. So the average hand, if you take your palm of your hand and put it on your chin, and you can flatten it out over your face, and the top of your hand will stop where your fingers end at the top of your forehead. So from chin to forehead is the length of your hand. So we're going to start with this, and I'm actually going to play with the hand, like I said, and draw it first. So we're going to play with some drawing here. I'm going to use black and white basic scaling, and I'm going to zoom a little bit, sorry. But we'll start out with a basic shape. And I'm just going to do a flat hand like you would do if you were waving. So I'm going to do simple. And this is going to look real soppy at first. So you're going to be like, what? Those are, those are funny looking phalanges. But it's okay. They can be funny looking phalanges to start off with. You want to remember each of your fingers is a different length. Your pointer finger is about the same size and length as your ring finger. And then your pinky finger, of course, is a little smaller, a little bit more petite, and it rounds out your hand on the other side. So I was trying to find one of my styluses so I could see what I'm doing better. This is not working very good. I think I have a stylus in my bag in the car. So I'm going to erase and clean up a little bit. This is the cleanup aisle. Clean up, aisle five. I was my hand on my face. I was too while I was telling you because I wanted you to see and I visualize more than most people do. So I'll do the same things that I'm asking you to do because it helps you to be more realistic. Okay, so we have a basic hand. It's not super fancy, and I'm not going for an artistic, uh, what do you call it, a masterpiece at this point. We're just trying to see how things work. So we've got the basic hand, and I'm just going to play with it a little bit. And do we want to do the front of the hand or the back of the hand? Your call. Yeah. Yes, it's the hand. <laughs> so give me some feedback and tell me if you want the front of the hand or the back of the hand, guys. The front of the hand okay so we're going to do the top of the hand where the knuckles and everything show on the front and the top of the hand so we're going to start shading in <coughs> excuse me I apologize I'm kind of parched I'm sending my little ones to grab water for me I'm dying <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go through, and, and I use my cotton ball a lot. You guys will like this. It gives us a really good texture for working on skin. So I'll kind of teach you some stuff like that at the same time as we're talking about everything else. So we're going to start coloring it a little bit, give it a little bit of shape. By the time we're all done, you're not even going to see this black line, by the way. So this isn't going to be cartoony. It'll actually go away. 
Side nugs. <laughs> Not chucks. Side nugs. Okay, so here we go. Got the basic hand. And you'll see how fast this can come together. So it's going to be really fast, and you're going to be like, whoa, we could do that that fast? Because it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so we're going to clean this out a little bit and thin it up a little bit because we don't want him to have mug hands or her to have mug hands. Are we doing girl hands or boy hands? Whoa, what? <laughs> Girl hands. Okay, we'll go for really girly so that you can see the differences. A girl hand is very feminine. The fingers tend to be thinner and a little bit longer. Um, male hands tend to be a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier. Um, and so there's a big difference between the two, although it starts out very simple. Oops, I got the eraser on still. Oh, shame on me. Dainty fingers, that's right. Let's narrow this down a little bit. So we're going to start putting some tones in for where the knuckles have on the top of your hand, if it be. And you have, you look at your hand, you have your knuckle that joins your finger to your hand, to the base of your hand. So you've got these knuckles up here. And you've got another knuckle here. And right above the nail, there's another knuckle. And your knuckles don't all line up, so you've got a little bit of difference in where they'll show up. So you can kind of see basics of, you've got some finger and some nail. Oh, that finger's still too fat. Whoops, fat finger. That's me on a bad day. Fat finger. <laughs> okay. They're in the front seat. Uh, sorry, I'm talking to the girls while I'm talking to y'all. Okay, that's much better. Let's thin that up and make it look realistic. And go back to the eraser and clean her up. Whee! Okay. Okay, so you can kind of see shape coming together pretty good. Okay. So we've got basic hand. Yeehaw! Now, you can see I've placed all the knuckles, and we're actually going to place fingernails, too. So I'm going to grab a neutral color, kind of a peachy color, probably, because you can use pinkish for the nails. We're going to start coloring in the, oops, unless I use an eraser or erase it all, um, <laughs> color it all in. And we'll also use, again, the cotton ball, and just kind of give it some tone and start shaping in our, our fingernail. Of course, this is not detailed at this point. This is just rough getting the shapes in so that we can play with it a lot more. And you can adjust things as you go because, you know, it's erasable. The nice thing about Sketchclub is you can erase, you can go back, you can change things up, you can make it perfect the way you need it to be, and you've got lots of options to make that work. <clears throat> so, okay, we've got some fingernail. No. Nope. We're not going to put the thumbnail on the top of the thumb because when you look at the top of the hand, the thumbnail actually goes at an angle to the side. So you'll notice I'm not going to do the, the top of the th thumb. I'm actually doing it to the side to give it that shape that it gets. Okay, so here we go. And I'm going to grab a stylus. Hold on just a second, people. Well, maybe I don't have a stylus. I'll just keep using my finger. Where is it? Oh, your food's done. Where's the bottles of water that were in the front seat? I want them. Thank you. That's what you guys were supposedly doing. I'm sending children on errands. You didn't hear me say that. Okay, guys. Here we go. I'm going to go to a little thicker texture brush. And we're going to shape a little bit more. So you've got some thumbs. I forgot the knuckles on the nail here. Oh, and I thumb, didn't I? Don't feel free to say, hey, you're going too fast. You're not going fast enough. <laughs> I sent Alexis to the car to get things. 
Okay, and your thumb only has the nail, or the, excuse me, the knuckle above the thumb, and it has the joint at the hand. So that's the only knuckles it has. It doesn't have the same knuckles the rest of your fingers do. Because it's a thumb. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a smart dog today. I've been on the road too long. I've turned into an idiot. <laughs> okay, so we've got some more shape in here. And let's pick this up. And there we go. We've got some fingernails. Let's start playing a little bit more. We're going to make this a girly girl, so we'll give her, let's see, we'll give her French tips. We'll square them off a little bit. And we're going to play with it. And if, if you feel like I'm going over too much of one thing and you want me to move on to a different thing, please say something. Okay, guys? All right. I'm actually going to go to my vector tool because I love vector. I'm going to put it at uh, medium opacity, approximately. And thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. And now we're going to start playing with color and shaping it in a little bit more. And basically, you're going to remember that your inside of your hand is a little bit lighter in the palm area. So you have a little bit of that that creeps over into the top of your hand. And then we're going to shape this up a little bit more properly and come out a little bit differently. There we go. And we've got a little bit more knuckle over here, a little bit more knuckle here. And we're going to shape in this a little bit more too. And then I'm actually going to come back in with white, pick it up off my pad. Okay, and we've got a French tip going on. And your fingernail kind of comes around the edge of your finger, so we're going to actually show some edge of the finger around it. So you can kind of see that. And if you wanted to cheat, I guess you could probably copy one finger and just paste it on each one and adjust it size-wise. But uh, I kind of do it the old-fashioned way and do every single finger a little bit differently. And here we go. We've kind of got a basic finger started, okay? So we're doing the girly girl thing. Like I said, we're going to make girly fingers. And then we can come back in and shape these out a little bit more because in between each of those knuckles, your finger sometimes or most of the time is a little bit thinner than the rest of your finger. Then so you clean it up a little bit more, shape it out. Oops, unless you erase the whole finger. Fingerless! Okay, there we go. You can kind of see it a little bit. You can see the knuckles shaping in. Okay. All right. So we're shaping up that one finger. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the next one and get the vector tool again. We'll play with a little bit of the black, pick it up, shape it in again. Same thing. We're going to kind of come in here and give it the little arches that are the webbed part of the fingers. Your little seat of your fingers where they attach to each other. We're going to come back and grab some more color and then come back in there. You can kind of see what we're doing. If I need to zoom out, please let me know, guys, dark on what I'm doing so that I don't keep you guys in the... Okay, so we're going to put some fingernail in here. Come across here, shape it up. Once again, I'm going to actually get the white and kind of fill in and make my tip. Go for the pink and clean it up a little bit. You can kind of see the finger. There we go. Same thing. Again, we're going to get some color and pick up that color and kind of play with it. And just use it to outline the fingernail. And yeah, I killed that one. And you're human, so we, we kill fingernails. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back across here. Let me erase a little bit. Clean this up because it's looking sloppy. Okay, because you can kind of see that a little bit better. I try, I'm trying to make sure I look down at the chat. So if you guys have something you want to say, don't be afraid to say something. And I'm going to get this a little bit more shape in here. A little bit more. Okay. And here.
Okay. So we kind of get. Get the idea of what I'm doing. <laughs> Biting your my nails. Ooh. Nails. I would never bite. <laughs> okay, let's get this one here. I want to make sure I look at the other ones to make sure I'm keeping them similar sizes. Come back here and do the back of your nail. It's not dark enough. I want a little darker tone. There we go. A little bit darker. Wrap it around the edge. If you kill it, you can always reshape it. <laughs> not like your real fingernails. Once they're gone, they're gone. With these, we can cheat. We can add a nail in. <laughs> okay. So that kind of gives you an idea of what we're doing. <laughs> v. <laughs> Welcome to class, guys. Anybody I haven't said hello to? Hello. Thanks for coming. Warning, I'll, I'll give you my disclosure. I'm crazy. <laughs> my disclaimer. Okay, so yeah, it looks kind of crappy over there. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, so you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing, and I'm trying to stay zoomed in as much as I can to give you guys something to look at so that you don't feel like you're lost as I'm doing this. Okay, so how's it all look, guys? Yeah, wait, fingernails don't magically grow back. <laughs> Only in Sketch Club do they magically grow back. And clean this up because it's not going to be that shape on the edge. There we go. All right, so you kind of get the idea, and this is the hand. So basically, we're going to add a little bit of a wrist and all that kind of stuff to it, just so it'll be proportionate. You can kind of get an idea of how it works. We're going to kind of come in here, and we'll shape up a little bit different color. And you've got a little wrist going in here. And you just want to remember anatomy as you're playing with this kind of stuff, because, you know, in real life, you don't have three fingers, unless something <laughs> tragic happened. <laughs> Um, and you don't have six unless something unusual happened. Oh, Lord, you didn't hear me say that. Actually, I used to teach martial arts, and there was a lady in my class that had six toes on both feet. And I, I had a hard time focusing when I'd see it. <laughs> I was like, uh, there's an extra toe down there. <laughs> okay, so here we go. And, of course, we can go back in and brush in some color on here as well. And once we get the basics in, then we can actually go with the soft round brush and go kind of crazy with it. And here we go. Whoa, we have a hand. This is the back of the hand. So this line won't show on the back of the hand. We still are the front of the hand. Um, so when we were looking at it, we were kind of debating on which way we we're going to go. So I'm going to get rid of that now. I'll take a little white. And, ah, there we go. Okay, so here we go. You've got your basic hand in here. All right. So, and you can shape, like I said, as you're going through it, you can say, oh, well, that doesn't look right. Or, oh, my thumb actually goes, look, this thumb's too short. So, look at your thumb, and it actually should go. I'm going to correct myself right in front of God and everybody, witnesses attending. This is where your thumb should go to. So I have to adjust this, and I also have to adjust the crease or the, the connecting tissue to match because that'll look pretty weird if I don't fix it. So I catch myself, and I come back in, and I'm like, oh, shoot, what am I doing? There we go. Now it's more proportionate. And now I can go back in and clean it all up again. <laughs> Makes you realize. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> Senpai, all it takes is practice. You'll get it. And I'm not saying by any means that I'm the best person to teach this. I just have fun with it. And so that's the goal is to have fun, learn some new skills. Hopefully something that I say helps you guys. And that's, that's the idea and the goal. And while I'm at it, let's put some shading in here. Start playing with this. I'm actually going to come in little pinker color. Okay, so we've got the, the hand and my thumb's enormous. Let's thin it out. <laughs> it's a my jumbo thumb. Okay, so we've got a huge thumb. It's a little too thick. 
There we go. That's a little bit more proportionate. And let's see here. What are we doing here? Got something going on here I need to fix. So let's play with it. Let's see here. Okay. I think I should put it out a little bit more at an angle. And eraser again and clean it up because I'm a slob. Okay. So as you're doing it, like I said, you can come back in and find things that you think need to look a little different and proportionately make it right. And it's not going to be perfect. Nobody's perfect, but doing hands can be a lot of fun and you can make your stuff look really great art wise if you can remember basics about hands. So now I've got my thumb and it's still a little too big. So we need to come in and shade it out and sh shape it up again because I've got, I've got monster thumb going on. Yeah, that's attractive. <laughs> uh oh, where'd everybody go? I just lost the, the whole crowd. Uh, that sucks. Well, where did everybody go? Can anybody hear me? If somebody can hear me that knows how to text me, please text me and tell me that I'm alive or I need to reboot. And there we go. Here we've got a hand. That's better. Much better. Okay. I'm waiting for them to text me, honey. They should text me if they are. There we go. You're good. Okay, thank you, Mimi. Okay, so you can see I shaped up the hand and it looks a little bit better now. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Okay, so here we go. We're more realistic now. We've got a little bit more balance with our shape. And I'm going to play with this for a little bit because I want you guys to see that it's not real complicated. It's not really hard. It's actually a lot of fun. And... You can practice and practice at it and get really good at it so that it doesn't bother you to do it and you won't feel so self-conscious about doing it also. Okay, here we go, guys. Um, we're going to start right where, right where we left off. I apologize. I'm babbling here. I'm going to go back in and clean up a little bit once more with the eraser. And I like to start, you guys, I start, you'll notice, as you're watching classes with me, I don't start in the middle of a drawing when I come into the classroom because I want you to see where it started from and I want you to feel like you can do that because you can see it from the very beginning to the very end and I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I start in the middle of it I want you to feel comfortable that you see every step of it so that you can pick it up and go okay so I'm switching to a brush I'm actually going to reline some of this to make it look a little bit better Okay, so here we go, and here we go. We're going to thicken it up a little bit. Now we're going to get rid of the black lines like I told you. I don't leave the black lines there. We're actually going to get rid of all of those. And a little bit of knuckle space. Okay, and we're going to thicken it up a little bit more. Okay, so we've got real fingers here now. They don't look so puny and weird, and the thumb's not disproportionate. Disproportionate. Lord, I can even talk. This is what happens when you're on the road all day. <laughs> you start talking really weird. Okay, here we go. And we'll thicken this one up a little bit. Add a little bit of thickness here. Okay, so you can kind of see it. It looks more like a real hand, correct? Is everybody happy with that? Okay, so... Now we're going to go back in, like I said, and we'll play with color and add the fingernail color in here. And, of course, I'm going to take some light color away from the edge and send my brush all the way down to one. I'm actually going to take super light color, make it a little easier. I'm just going to go there. Actually, I can opacity adjust that. Okay, and let's come in here. There we go. So we've got some fingernail. And it's not, like I said, people, I think, get terrified with it. Hey, Chris, how are you? Good to see everybody. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it, guys. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start in with, you'll watch me pick it up. 
the soft round brush now. So I'm going to go to this brush. We're going to make it just wide enough to work inside the fingers. And I'm going to make it about 60% opacity so I'm not overdoing on my color. We're going to come in and start filling these in. And I'm going to use a little bit of shading here, a little bit lighter here, darker here. Like we were talking about with the knuckles. you got to have knuckles. What kind of fingers would we have if we don't have knuckles? <laughs> we wouldn't be able to bend them. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We have Edward Scissorhands. Uh-oh. Is anybody sound acting up? Let me know if I need to do something. There we go. Sounds fine. Good. 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 I'm just going to keep going then. If something happens and you guys need me to do something, let me know. Okay. So here we go. We've got a little shadow underneath the hand. So we're going to put, there's going to be a little shadow between each finger. You're going to get a little color. So you're going to come in with a little color on each finger. You can see this. All I'm doing is darkening that outer edge, and then we can come back in and lightly come in with a little bit of that color, but not too much. And see, we're going to make it look a little bit more the color of your hand or the shape of your hand with the coloring. So you can kind of see it coming together. Okay, I'm trying to make it not real complicated. So if, if I lose anybody, please tell me to stop and I'll work with you on whatever we're going to do. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. Yes, that's my kitty. Did you hear my kitty? Goodness, I can't believe you heard that. We have a couple kitties. We've got a, a baby boy that we adopted almost three years ago, I guess. Maybe it's been three years already. And then we have a little girl kitty that we adopted, too. And she's a hot mess. He's actually less of a nuisance than she is. She's a bad girl. She has bad manners. Okay, so you can kind of see this, the way it's coming together. Now I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger because I'm actually going to do the back of the hand a little bit. And this looks really dark, I know, but I'm actually picking up color, and we're going to go over it a couple times to thicken up the, the base of the back of the hand. Okay. And so you can see, also, one of the things you want to remember is you may see the structure of the hand in some hands, depending on how the hand is, is held. So you may have to show a little bit of the fatty texture in the, the crease of the hand, or you may have to show a little bit of the boniness of the hand, depending on how thick the hand is or how thick the person is. You may see knuckles, and you may see the connecting bones. So you've got your knuckles in here. You can see this. And actually, this is going to be a little lighter in here. Knuckles are going to be up here. I think my knuckles were too far in earlier. See? Everybody can do that. And there we go. And a little bit more here. A little touch here. Now we're going to come around here. And you can kind of see how the back of the hand kind of blends into the wrist. And you're going to have a knuckle, a knuckle, a bone on the side of your hand that you're going to actually see a little bit of definition and texture from. It's too wide, so I'm going to erase some of it and clean it out. Oh, it would help if I got a bigger brush, wouldn't it? There we go. Let's clean this up. There we go. There we go. This is the back of the hand, okay? And on this side, you're going to come in a little bit. It's going to be a little bit more feminine. And you're going to have a little bit of thumb. There you go. Okay, so this is the top of the hand. And let's take some cotton 
can color in a little bit more and we're going to actually start toning. Oops, I think I'm on the eraser again. Sorry guys. Watch out, I'm a, I'll pick up a tool and forget I've got it. Okay, now we're going to come back in. You'll have a little bit of, now a little bit, Ooh, hello, brush. Okay, lighten this up a little bit. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of this pinkish tone. And we're actually going to start doing some toning to shape the fingers the rest of the way. And a little bit of pinkish in here because that part's not really dark. This is going to be all light in here. Oh, my brush is too small. There we go. Okay, is everybody kind of happy with what they're seeing? Everybody understand what you're looking at? And I'm going to clean up this edge over here. Y'all are so quiet. Yes, that helps. <clears throat> here we go. Like I said, if I go too fast, please tell me. And we'll stop and go back somewhere else. Um, and if you want to know something that I'm not saying, ask. Okay, so that's the top of your hand. You can kind of see the way it gradually goes out to the wrist. I may want to add a little bit more wrist in there, depending on how it comes out. So maybe pick up this color right here and kind of blend it in a little bit more. And then go back to the soft brush. And take my colors, a little bit of color on the edge. Okay, so here we go. I hope I'm not taking too long on one subject. I'm thinking, you know, this is one of those things that I think we should do it in segments. I'm just going to say this so that you guys can decide if you want to. But, you know, maybe hands, then feet, then knees, then toes. <laughs> just because you can get overwhelmed by doing too many things all at one time. But that'll be y'all's call. Okay, so here we go, and now we're going to start doing details. And we're going to come in, and I'm actually going to use the soft brush again. And I'm just going to give it full opacity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. <laughs> Shh, I didn't sing. <laughs> okay, so we know we've got knuckles up here. If you look at your knuckles, there's, you know, some, some little lineage in here. You've got some lines in here. Your lines are kind of rounded on the outer edge. And you know you've got a little bit thinner, narrower lines on this side. They go all the way to the side of the finger. So you've got a little bit of line in there. Same thing when you look at your thumb. Your thumb's going to have that right in here and back in here. <laughs> no, no competition, I think. Goth Daddy probably has it. <laughs> okay, so knuckles, a <laughs> little bit of shape. And you don't have to be overly crazy with them. You're not going to have perfect wrinkles, and it's not going to be a perfect hand. It's not a photo. But you can do photorealism with your hands if you want to. And I don't like that one. See? Take away, take away. Okay. And just keep playing with it. And your knuckles aren't going to line up perfectly because your hand doesn't do that. So... When you get to the pinky, it's going to be a little bit lower. Your knuckles are going to be in different spots. Don't try to line them up. Okay. And here we go. Good Lord, my brushes are all, okay, all over the place today. Thanks for being patient with me, guys. It's been a crazy day today. Here we go. Let's see if this can Kind of smooth out. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's looking like a hand. Don't tell anybody. Okay, so we've got a little bit more shape to it. Let's see here. And this is why I don't use a stylus. I'm trying to use a stylus so I can see what I'm doing for y'all. Because most of the time I just zoom in majorly and do it myself. But when I'm working with y'all, I want you to see what I'm doing so it's not so crazy. 
Oh, there goes the cat again. Meow. Okay, let's get this stand out a little bit more. And there we go. Okay, so we're seeing a hand, although I think her forefinger is a little bent. We might have to straighten that out. Look, no finger. <laughs> Okay, let's fix that one while we're at it. My kitties are talkers. They run around the house talking to everybody. They think that they are humans. Well, they might be in their own minds. Okay, there that looks a little bit better. No, no bent, twisted fingers. That would look pretty bad. And let's shorten it a little bit. Finger. There we go. And get a little bit bigger brush. Let's go ahead and come in here, pick up some color, and let's splat it. There we go. Thanks for your patience, guys. Y'all are doing good and being patient with me. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's see here. We'll put a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, narrow it up, a little bit of white, la la la. Okay. So you kind of get the idea. Okay, so that's a basic hand. Do we want to, did you guys decide? <laughs> You're doing super, <laughs> we're enjoying the show. Oh, y'all are too sweet. Um, so the question is, do you want me to stick with just the hand until we get a picture perfect hand? Or do you guys want me to move on to feet or toes or hands, arms? Well, we already did the hand. Um, arms. Proportions of bodies, you guys call it. And here we go, more finger. There we go, a little bit more fingernail. And you want to remember that the, the tip of the fingernail extends past the end of the finger normally, but you actually have that line where the white of your fingernail is also. Armpit. <laughs> Scott Daddy, you're the only one that would ask me for an armpit. You don't have an armpit fetish, do you? <laughs> okay, so here we go. And you can kind of see this as it's coming together. I'm actually going to go in here and, and use the, the hard brush. And I'm going to clear out some opacity. And we're going to actually pick this up and, and clean it up a little bit. Make it really nice. So you can kind of get the feel of the whole thing. Let's do detail. <laughs> Is everybody good for that? Next class feet? I can do that. That's absolutely fine. Is everybody good with that? If everybody's cool, let me know, and I'll go ahead and just finish this out and make it look the way it should. Hand as well. And we'll even do a bent while we're playing. Okay, so here we go, and you can kind of see. Good. As long as everybody's good, I don't want to... Just assume and jump on this pool. Okay, everybody's going to do something I'm not supposed to do, so you guys guide, since I just a guest. <laughs> okay, so you can kind of see the color and the way I use color to shape. And then it's kind of like going to the nail salon, girls. <laughs> Go to the nail salon, and what do they do? They do the tip last with, with other color. Okay, so shape it out a little bit more. Whoops. Let's not draw across the page. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's shape it up. Okay, we're going to play with it a little bit more. On the way home, I was afraid I wasn't going to get to do class with y'all. The power went out today and was out for about four hours. Let's see here. Uh oh, where'd my color go? Oops. There we go. We have a little shape there. Okay, there we go. That looks better. Okay, now we're going to grab the white, come back in here and clean these up. And I'm not doing a whole bunch of hard lines today um, because when you're doing human bodies, when you don't want it to look um, either animated or cartoonish, you don't use the line work. 
So you're more using a soft, natural brush technique where you're going to actually just draw the whole thing out um, without as many lines as a final finished product. Okay, so let's come up here. We'll do this. Shape this in around the nail. Shape it in on this side. Got a little bit of finger edge. Okay, we're going to finish this in here. Same thing. Gonna add a little bit more color in there. A little bit more over here. And pick up some soft brush again. Nice color. And start adding some accents around the fingertips. Because you're going to have that on the sides of your fingers. And like I said, if you get your fingers too wide and you're like, oh my gosh, they're too wide, they look stupid. You can always adjust them and erase and touch them up and shape them up. And you can't always erase when you're working on a single layer. A lot of the artwork I do, um, I do work on some single layer things. If you do that, you just work on it until you get it where you want it. And you can color over color over color until you've got the shape and the texture and the shape that you want. I said that twice. Stutter, repeat. You need my manicure. Let me hook you up. Send me a hand. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Actually, you, on a funny note, I used to do my own manicures all the time because I didn't like the way they were done at the shop because they hurt my fingernails. I'd be like, not that in my nail. That's gonna hurt. You're not. You're not grinding down the. <laughs> And Vector Tool works really good for this kind of stuff. So I'm going to start erasing some of the area in here that I don't want to have. So I'm going to go to my Vector Tool and I'm going to pick up Erase. And I'm just going to use my Vector Tool and come in here and make some nice, clean shaping. And you can see I, I can clean that out pretty quickly. If I see what I like and what I don't like, I can come in and kind of carve it away. Yes, we're carving fingers. <laughs> Okay, Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're shaping them up. I'm going to shape up a little bit more. Okay, see my finger. You can kind of see this is like a real infector tool. <laughs> That's terrible. It's the Hannibal Lecter finger factor. <laughs> okay, so we've got, yeah, that's a little too much. Let's fix that. There we go. That's better. And you can kind of see that you've got some shape here to work with. And there we go. That's a little bit better. Let's see here. Make them the way you want them. And we can clean off this edge around them. You can kind of see you can shape them up. Nails and trim these up a little bit. Um, I usually have my vector tool set on simplify at number three when I'm trying to make nice smooth edges on things. So for the nails, that works perfect. Just go to the tip of the nail and go back and forth across it until you get it to shape, and you can you can you can cut it down until you're ready. <laughs> Don't let them do this at the salon; they'll leave you with nubs. Okay, so you can kind of see it. Okay, and I'm going to shape this up a little bit more. Okay, so you've got some fingernails now. Oh, look, she's got real nails. We could have given her really wicked claws, huh? Yeah, a vector file. I need one. <laughs> you and me both, Poppy. I could use one of these. Oh, mercy. Okay, so we're, we're shaping it up. You can kind of see it might be a little bit long on nails, but you can get away with it. We can always adjust the nail bed also so that it makes more sense with the shape of the nail. My brushes are lagging. Come on brushies, cooperate. There we go. Uh oh, something's a little slow. Are you guys hearing me okay? So let's go ahead and finish up some more of this. I'm going to trim up these a little bit more and we're going to shape them up. Okay, so you can see that we can shape them up a little bit. You know, make it more realistic. 
not sure what's going on, but it seems like I'm having trouble. I apologize. I don't want to keep torturing everybody. I won't close unless I have to, but once it says I need to close, I'll go ahead and close. Okay, so there's the, there's the fingers. Let's get some definition in there. A little bit of definition up here. And let's trim that out a little bit. Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And let's go to vector and use it over the top now. And I'm going to actually use it about 28% eh, to get some color. We're going to actually add a little bit of the finger to the end of the finger here. Because I want to make sure that we don't forget that we do have an end of a finger. Usually your fingers, fingernails sit on top so you can see the tissue around them. Okay, so you can kind of see this. You may need to widen some of these up a little bit, and that's fine. We can do that. That's easy. So you can kind of see the shape of the fingers coming together, and I think this one's probably wicked wide, wide or I need to widen up my fingernail bed a little bit. So you can kind of see that. Um, let's play here a little bit. Thanks for your patience again. I'm, I apologize. It's got to be my iPad because I have an older iPad, and it's small. It's an iPad mini. So I apologize if it's making it difficult for you guys. One of these days, I'll grab a new one. But right now, I'm in the middle of moving and work. And <laughs> it's just not a priority right this second. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Got a little bit of shape in here. Let's kind of play a little bit more. Let me shape it up here a little bit. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay, so you can kind of see where I'm going. I mean, these are not supposed to be stick fingers. fingers. So I'm trying to thicken them up a little bit again because I think I shaved them out a little bit too much. So you can kind of get the idea. And now we're going to go for some major detailing. I'm going to start with the thumb. And I'm actually just going to pick the, the small brush on the hard brush. And I come back in here and I'm just going to start picking up colors that I need to use. Seven minutes. I have to finish in seven minutes. Good Lord, shoot me now. Whoa. Wowzer, guys. So, we may not finish this. You guys are going to want to punch me in the eye. Sorry. Let's see if I can get the dark color. There we go. There we go. Let's do that. Pick up some color over here. Let's do the white and the tip. Okay. So we've got some shape here. Here we go. And let's throw a color in the background so that you guys can see the way hand, the hand pops in the front. Because otherwise you're going to kind of miss out on the way it really looks. So, let's put, there we go. Does that help? Does that make it look a little bit better so you guys can see a little bit better? Okay, that helps a little bit, right? Now you can see I've missed a little bit of color here and there, but that's okay. We can take our round brush and come back in, pick up color, and touch up things that we need to touch up. About 67%. We can make the opacity, but I'm going to pick up pink, clean up these edges right here. I'm going to pick up brown right around the edge, go into it, and start filling in. This is going to be really fast, so y'all bear with me because I don't want you guys to miss some of this and feel like, well, I didn't get to see the rest of it. So here we go. You can kind of see what I'm doing. And now back to the brush. And pick up color. We're going to try this one right here. A little bit of color. And right behind it, another color. Because your finger at the back is going to have that little bit of shape to it. And you're going to see that shadowing. Even under your fingernail, you can see it sometimes that there's that little bit of color. And sometimes you'll see a little white back there, too. And then I'm going to show you how to add shine to the finger real quick before we finish as well. So bear with me. I'm going to try to speed this so that you guys don't miss out on a whole bunch. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you all being so patient. This little bit of time really goes fast for me. I'm sorry. It's probably not a little bit of time. I just think it is. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're shaping it up. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And we're going to actually come in and do a lot of colors to get caught up a little bit. Here we go. A little bit more shape, a little bit more shape. 
I'm kind of going to go at this with the speed to try to get you guys where you need to be. And let's see here. A little dark, a little dark, a little dark, a little dark. We're going to add some darkness right here where those knuckles are. You've got your lines in your, your um, what do you call it, your knuckles and the, the creases, but you still want to be able to see how that works. And there's still a little bit of shadowing on each of those fingers in that area. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start with this. I'm actually going to pick up the cotton ball brush again. And we're going to go over the top of the hand. And what I want you guys to do is, is, I was thinking, if you guys are interested and you, you would like to do it, let's do a hand compo after this. And you can draw your hands, you can draw hands that you see on the internet, or you could draw whatever hand, even a magical, mysterious hand that you just made up. Would you guys like to do that? Cool. Excellent. I'm glad. That sounds like fun. I think that's a great idea. Now we're going to close this up and clean it up up at the top because we don't want to have see-through nails. We're going to paint them so back to this and really quick finish them nice and smooth. We got nails. Okay. And finish these so we don't have the see-throughness that we had. There we go. I think it's going to be a fun thing for you guys to do if you're interested in it. I think that would be fun. I'm so glad. Thank you, Chris. You guys make me feel good. I like the compliments. You guys are so sweet to me. I can't believe that y'all put up with me, my craziness. Okay. I'm almost done to the point where we can move this to a little bit more finished. And I'm going to finish this out really quick with some highlights. So... We'll try to get this really clean for y'all. I know this is terrible. I apologize. Oh, hurry up, Pamela. Running out of tape, running out of video. <laughs> uh, I love doing this, Poppy. You have no idea. I was so scared I was not going to get home on time. And then my daughter called me. Alexis called me. She said, Mom, the power went out. I'm thinking, oh, Lord, no. <laughs> And it came on literally about 40 minutes before class. And I wasn't quite home yet. And she messaged me, Mom, it's back on, I think. <laughs> so now we're going to do the highlights. And I'm going to take the cotton ball really quick. And I'm going to try to do it so that you can see. I'm going to add a little highlight here. Because in the hands, you're going to have a little highlight. Okay, let's see here, a little bit of bone highlight here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Okay, so you can kind of see how it works. I'm sorry, these are not completely finished. I so apologize, guys. I think I got off to a slow start, and I'm so sorry. But here we go. We got some shape. And now I'm going to come back to the back of the hand, and we're going to lighten this up a little bit because the knuckles are always darker than the um, fingers. So you've got your in the back of the hand. So your hand's a little bit lighter. Unless you get a super really good tan, then you might have a little bit darker. <laughs> so here we go. And we're actually going to take some of this light color right here, and you're going to have that on the, the bone that connects your hand to your arm. Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy. I feel like I've not gotten this the way I wanted to do it, guys. I am so sorry. Okay, so let's go to... Does that have the eraser yet? No. Okay. I'm going to enlarge this so you can see it a little bit better. So let's transform it. Make it a little bit bigger. Never mind, I ran it off the corner of the page. Let's try that again. There we go, transform. There we go. Okay, can you guys still hear me? Uh-oh, I think I lost people. 
Oh Lord, what have I done? What have I done? Okay, guys, if anybody can hear me, let me know, please. I think I've lost everybody again. Okay, thanks, Jules. I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to actually come in here and erase clean up one more time. And we'll just touch it up just very lightly and clean some edges. Let me see here. That was too much on that one. Ah, let's try to fix that. There we go. Come in here and clean it a little bit more. There a little bit more. We actually have fingers. Don't tell anybody. And look, we've got some fingers. Like I said, this wasn't probably as smooth as I wanted the class to go. I apologize, but you guys are a great class. I appreciate you. You're supportive and helpful and, and funny. That's always a good thing. I appreciate that much. Okay, so you can kind of see where we're at. Now I'll touch this up after class is over, and I'll touch it up, and what we'll do is do the compo invite. And I hope you guys will try your hand at doing some hands. <laughs> try your hand at doing hands. How you doing? Funny, aren't I? And have fun with it. Enjoy it. Don't scare yourself to death. If you want to, just to play with it, I don't know how big your iPad is, trace your hand. And then go back in and, and color your hand in and shape it the way you want it to be. And uh, just practice with the techniques until you get it to the way you think it should look. And I think you'll find it's a lot of fun and you can do it. And it'll make a huge difference on your pieces of art because you'll get the kind of art you want. Um... And so that's the whole goal is to get the kind of finished products that you want. So if you have any questions, let me know. I can't see anybody's chat right now. Um, so if anybody wants to let me know. I'm done-ish. I think, is it crashing again, people? So this is a hand. And if we're done, let me know, Poppy. I don't want to hold everybody up, but... Hopefully we're done and you guys got a good idea. 